Welcome everybody to the Single and Stiletto Show. I'm Suzanne Oshima and I'm a matchmaker and dating coach at Dream Bachelor and Bachelorette. And I'm also the founder of Single and Stilettos. Today we have on our show Nicole Moore and she's a love coach at loveworksmethod.com. And I'm so excited to have her here today because today we're talking about the three biggest mistakes keeping you from true love. But before we jump into it, Nicole, I would love for you to tell our audience a little bit about you and how you became a love coach. Hi, everyone. Yeah, so um, I became a love coach because I was the absolute worst <laughs> woman in love. And what I mean by that was I was incredibly insecure. I was, love made me feel like a crazy person. I literally, sometimes I couldn't sleep at night if I didn't get a text back from a guy that I liked. <laughs> so it was that insane to them. Like I was, I was, I felt like I was awesome in all these other areas of my life. And then in my love life, I was like, why does love turn me into this crazy person that I don't even recognize? And so I got fed up and I got very interested in figuring out how to make love work. And what I figured out was that love is a skill, just like anything else in life. It's a skill. And if you know how to do this skill right, you're going to have an incredible, amazing love life. That is very, very true, because love has gotten complicated over the years. So, tell us the three biggest mistakes keeping women from true love. Tell us the first biggest mistake that they're making. Yeah, so the first mistake is what I call putting the past in the future. And um, I see so many women doing this. And so what they're, they're coming and they're saying, I want a really great guy. But what they're using as their reference point for what's possible is the past it's everything that's happened to them whether it's you know i had a breakup or there was an unavailable guy or i got cheated on or there's been no guys and so they just assume that whatever's happened in their past is going to happen in the future and what happens from a psychological perspective is human beings move towards pleasure and away from pain that's just what we all do and so a lot of women, they'll, they'll have some pain in their past mm -hmm. and they think it's going to happen in the future. And this is why you're staying single, ladies. Like this is the real reason why you're staying single because human beings are smart and we don't want to move towards pain. So if you assume that the same negative stuff that happened in your past is going to happen in the future or you're afraid of it, so your energy is, I don't want to get hurt again, I don't want to get cheated, cheated on again then you don't move forward. This is, this is the reason why you're going on dates and nothing's happening or you go on one date or there's nothing happening. It's because you are staying stuck here because you're, this is your past, right? It was crappy. You're here. You think that this is going to be crappy, so you stay here, if that makes sense. So what you need to do is create a whole new vision for your love life and recognize that the vision is truer than anything that has ever happened to you in your past. What I tell women is, how long have you had your love desire? And they're like, forever. And I say, so that's, it's been constant. It's always been there. Your love desire has always been there. And your love life has just changed, right? It's been good. It's been bad. It's been empty. And the one constant has been your desire. So why wouldn't you trust that above anything else that has happened along the way. Does that make sense? Yeah, it totally makes sense. And I want to add something to that because I love that you use that reference of, oh, I've been hurt and you're so afraid because I see that a lot. And what women don't realize is when you do that, you start to put up walls and a man can't get to know you and then he can't figure out why and he may think it's that you're not interested or that you're just not letting people in and it's and he'll just walk. He'll move on to the next person. So mm -hmm. it's really important that if you have been hurt before that you work through it in order to be able to find love in the future. Yeah, this is the reason why, because I was the girl, Suzanne, where it was like, you know, guys would look at me and they would find me attractive, but then they wouldn't want to date me or they wouldn't want to come up to me. And I've had so many clients have this pattern where they're like, people look at them and they're like, I don't know why you're single. And it's usually always this thing where their their energy is just like, I'm so afraid of getting hurt again. So you're right. Men can't come in. They look, but they do not come in. Yeah, and then they go out on dates, and they go out on dates, and they go, I don't understand why it never works out. And so if there's something there, you got to dig a little bit deeper. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what's the second biggest mistake? So the second biggest mistake is not being happy. 
And I think that people don't, we don't often think about happiness and love associated together. But I want you to think about, ladies, you know, even in the movies, I mean, I don't think movies can be used as a gauge for your love life always. But what happens in movies that I think is always true, it's like the main character is just like, I'm having such a gorgeous day and I'm buying flowers. And then boom, that's when she runs into the man, right? It's always when you're just, you're kind of like, it, this is the reason why the second you stop freaking out about the guy calling you back, he calls you back. Because when we are happy, if you look at um, the vibrational scales, right? Every emotion has a vibration. Joy is a really, really high vibration and it's really close on the scale to love. So I always say, if you're happy, you're so close to love that love can actually find you. And what a lot of women are doing, I mean, I used to live in New York. You know, you can see the women, they're head down. Everyone's so unhappy everyone's in their head and then we're somehow expecting love to find us and I feel like happiness is just a big opener when you are happy you're open to life you're enjoying life you're present and again then men can actually come in they can find you and men I mean it's the reason why like Julia Roberts is America's sweetheart because she's so happy you know and like we all love her people love happy people. We want to be around happy people. And so again, since so many people are unhappy, if you are happy, you stand out and then men notice you and they feel like, oh my God, she's happy, which she's safe. I can make her happy. And that makes them want to choose you. That is very true. Ladies, I'm telling you exactly what Nicole said is so true. If you're not happy, you're not going to attract the right man into your life. You have to be happy in your own life and every day things going on because that's what's going to attract the right man. Don't think that when you find the right man that you're going to be happy. You have to be happy already with yourself. Exactly. It's so true. So true. Great. Well, what's the third biggest mistake? So the third biggest mistake is the one that I struggled with the most in my life, and that is not being confident, or the opposite of that is being insecure. And so um, men run from insecure. I mean, we all do. Like, we, we don't like insecure men either. Like, if you get a man and he's like, you, he sends you a text, and then 10 minutes later you haven't responded, and he's like, why didn't you respond to me? Your, your response is ick. Like, people just, that's the response to insecurity. It's, I want to move away from you. Like, ick, get me away from this. And so a lot of women, we, I don't know what happened, because I remember being in the playground, Suzanne, and boys would chase me. Right. And when we were little girls, it was like we were these awesome creatures and boys were kind of fumbling over themselves to talk to us. And we had the power and women have given away our power to men. We've decided that they have they can validate us or not. And our self-worth is dependent on them. And so we become these insecure, crazy women who are just um, desperate for validation from men. And the problem with that is that men don't they're not attracted to that energy. They're attracted to the confident woman who knows her worth. Men are taking cues from us. So when you are confident in yourself, he goes, okay, I can be confident in her. I can trust her. This is a good woman. If you're approaching dating from the perspective of, I'm not sure if I'm worth it and I need you to tell me that I am, to prove it to me, you're never going to get that validation. And your great guys don't, they're not attracted to not confident women. They only want that woman who simply knows her value. That is very true. It's men tell me all the time that they are, that it's, it's so not attractive when a woman is insecure. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's the same thing. We as women, we're attracted to confident men. And if a man is um, insecure or is needy, it's a huge turnoff and we run from it. Yeah. So always think about it in reverse, ladies. So these, yeah. <laughs> these have been some great tips. So Nicole, tell our audience how they can find you. Yeah, you can find me at loveworksmethod.com. Awesome. Well, thanks everybody for joining us on the Single and Stiletto Show. Our show is available both in video format and podcast format. If you like to view the videos, you can go to singleandstilettos.com. And if you like to get the podcast, you can download it from iTunes. And if you would like to get our free ebook on the three secrets guaranteed to attract any man, you could click right here on the video or you can go to singleandstilettos.com.